Hi, my name is David Fleming from the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel where we are focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. Now I want to tell you about a new uh, Bible study series that we started on Disciples Ignited on the YouTube channel and it's called Bible Treasures. And what I'm doing in this series is I am sharing with you uh, Bible verses and passages of scripture that I have personally memorized that have been such a help to me in my Christian walk. Uh, these are verses that I have memorized uh, starting way back when I was 16 years old. And so I've had like 50 years of just memorizing scriptures. But I tell you what, they have been instrumental in uh, helping me to grow in Jesus and really uh, be strengthened in the Lord when I'm going uh, through hard times, uh, as we all do. Now, this week, we're going to be looking at Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. And what we're going to do in this series is we'll take one verse or one passage and take it and study it for the entire week. And we're going to dissect it, get into it real uh, deeply. And hopefully by the end of the week, you will have begun to memorize that passage along with me. So let's get started with Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. And I'll read it in the NIV to get started. And the word of the Lord says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the very first part of verse 6, where the word of the Lord tells us, do not be anxious about anything. In other words, don't worry about it. Now, why is the Lord telling us not to worry? Well, because there's something that we can do uh, that we'll study tomorrow. But he said, listen, don't worry. Well, first of all, worry isn't going to change the situation unless it makes it worse. Because worry literally is going to change us to where we start acting irrationally and start doing things, trying to uh, change things, and we usually make it worse. So don't worry. Worries, the only thing that it's going to do is possibly make you sick. But we are told what we can do, and we'll get into that tomorrow. But this really reminds me of a verse that um, we find in the gospel, something that Jesus said that may shock you. He said in Matthew chapter 6, there's verse 34, Jesus said, Don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself each day, has enough trouble of its own. You know, when I, I first read that uh, a few years back, it shocked me because I thought, oh my goodness, Jesus is admitting that every day is going to have trouble. Each day has enough trouble of its own, Jesus said. So he said, don't worry about it. But we are told what we can do. And we'll study that throughout this week, and it's prayer. But right now, we want to get this uh, basic idea in our head that, listen, don't worry. Don't be anxious because anxiousness is going to impede your prayers. I mean, it's just going to mess up your prayers. It's going to fill you full of doubt. It's going to fill you full of, of anxiousness. Really, all worry does is it's concocting ideas of, of things that may not happen at all, but you're just concocting all these ideas. Like, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? So the word of God says, listen, that's not the way that you walk with Jesus. You don't walk with worry, but you walk with faith. And we're going to put that faith into action in prayer. And that's what we'll talk about tomorrow. So join me tomorrow as we memorize Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. See you then.